Holy shit. It's my car. It's my car from the very first special. Is that... It can't be James's work. I don't believe it. The Light Bike Cafe. That is astonishing. I'm, I'm, I'm slightly choked up. Soon, we arrived at a disused submarine base. And Jeremy insisted we should stop. I am a mountain goat. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I was close. Yeah. Oh, an airport. Chaps, is that an airport? I just thought, yeah, yeah Aeropuerto, it is. Well, if the runway's as busy as the roads, we might be able to use the runway for our speed test. God, there's some parking available. All of it, in fact. Uh, where is everyone? We went inside to look for someone in charge. Hello? Hello? But the whole place was completely deserted. Chef near death sail with them the fin man for the care went. And here on this huge abandoned army base, crisscrossed with more than 30 miles of deserted roads, we received the details of our challenge. Oh, hello. Why is it an envelope and not a text? That's this a time? good point. Well, we're in Wales, no signal. Ah. Yeah, we're back to the old ways. Come on, then, what is it? Out of town, the crew, two of whom had been hurt, pulled over to repair the multitude of smashed windows. All right, let's have the help down on this one now. And because they were a magnet for trouble, they had to abandon the Porsche, Ford and Lotus. Guys, everyone keep up. Let's go, let's go. The producers had told us to report to an abandoned campsite at the bottom of a very slippery field. That was well parked. Maybe we'll have converted him. <laughs> that's an unhappy <laughs> spaniel right there, isn't it? What is this place? Well, it's, obviously, it was a uh, theatre. They built it on the site of... Henry Ford's first ever workshop. And when I say theatre... Oh, wow! So it was in 1925 they built it, when Detroit was just about the richest city in the world. You can see, look and at that. You could just build that. And then in the 70s it was converted into a rock venue. So I'm mean, going to look at these tickets I've got for it. ZZ Top. ZZ Top and T-Rex. Wow, what a gig oh, yeah, that would have been. Fantastic. Sly and the Family Stone, Spencer Davis. Steve Winwood has performed in here. David Bowie performed in here. Blue Oyster Cult, Bob Seger. This was a serious venue. Oh, serious venue. And then there were some credit card companies in the offices which are behind that wall, and they said, we need some parking, and just bought it and turned it into a multi-storey car park. So it That's amazing. Romantic. It is, I mean, it's, it's sort of staggering. <laughs> Is it DC-3? It is. Or a C-47, strictly. What, because it's the military one? Exactly. Imagine surviving that plane crash and then finding yourself here. That's a bad deal. As we pushed even deeper into Jordan, we came across something else amazing. Well, it 
Clearly. Uh, it's a racetrack. It's an oval. It's an oval, yeah. It's, it's NASCAR, is what it is. The origins of. How did the Romans know? That is foresight. That goes to shit. I mean, they, they are talked of as being advanced. They were. You know what I'm thinking, chaps? Let me I guess. think I do, actually. A disused Soviet submarine base. Now, ordinarily, we'd have to park in the car park there. But because our cars are so little, we won't. This is remarkable. James Bond could not have got in here. Because, of course, his Aston Martin is too large. This is where the people who worked at the nuclear facility all lived. Totally abandoned now. Has been for 28 years. Look at it. Look at that there. This has to be one of the world's most astonishing spectacles. Oh, my... I've seen this. This is it. This is the playground. Whoa, big spike. It is definitely now time to get out of here. I want this one. At this point, the producers told us to stop off at the still bullet-scarred Entebbe Airport. It was here in 1976 that Israeli Special Forces staged a daring operation to rescue passengers from a hijacked airliner. Oh, wow, look at this. I'll tell you what, I couldn't be Israeli Special Forces. You were that rest I couldn't I've done too, I'm exhausted. Then we'd all sit there thinking, oh, help, here comes help, and then... <laughs> Sorry, just give us five. Eventually, the boat dumped the three worst explorers in history on a bank in the middle of nowhere and left. Have we just been abandoned here to die? That is the creepy teepee. What is it? <laughs> it must be for something. Well, it must mean something, mustn't it? The annoying thing is, normally we'd look it up on Google and then we'd say with learned faces, we know what this is and we'd tell the viewer. But what we actually got to say now is, we haven't got any phone service, you have, you look it up. TP Mongolia. If you wouldn't mind looking it up, what it is, mm. and then imagine we're imparting that information to you in a very learned fashion. I'll do it. You James, that's the words fascinating. Yeah, that's Thank amazing, you for yeah. telling me all about this thing. God! Yes! There's the door. There's the door. The door. Right. Three pints of your finest, please, landlord. Locked? Shut me. Well, it's not open. Well, it might just not be up. Hello, in Mongolia. Hello? Oh, wait. Hello? Oh, no, hang on. It's empty. It is, isn't it? It's disused. But we did find something else. Jesus. I'll tell you what. He must have been going at a right old lick when he hit the beach. He must have been. Right, the sea is there. That's yeah. half a mile away. Yeah, I'd say so. So he got it up the beach and then sort of did a handbrake Power slided turn. it in. How did you do the handbrake? How did it get here? Seriously. Can I just say, 
my nipples are erect.